the famous Trump Tower meeting, which indeed was convened for the purpose of collusion, which is to say it was convened. <laughs> hold, hold, hold on. I've been watching this all day. I mean, it is just so tiresome and monotonous. Meetings with these two Russians at Trump Tower. Now, one day, maybe it'll be 10 years from now, maybe it'll be 10 months from now, people will realize that you're allowed to meet with Russians, knowingly and unknowingly. You're actually allowed to meet with Russians who claim to have information. You're not allowed to commit crimes. What crime exactly are they talking about? The president did not meet with the Russians. The president has said repeatedly he was not even aware of the meeting with the Russians. So what is this all about? Collusion with the Russians? Now, this didn't happen, but let's say it did. Let's say that they met with some Russians, and the Russians gave them some opposition research on Hillary Clinton. Would that be collusion, you think? Would that be a crime, you think? Well, if that's the case, then Hillary Clinton should be in an orange jumpsuit because that's exactly what Fusion GPS did, funded by Hillary Clinton's campaign in the DNC, in hiring the foreign ex-spy Christopher Steele, he used to work for the Brits, who claims to have gotten information from the Kremlin. Now, that to me is a much more direct tie in definition of collusion, even conspiracy, than any of this. For more, sign up for Levin TV.